Hey guys. So you know that there is a collective trigger going off on the planet and that as an empath, you're feeling it. And if you're feeling exhausted, if you feel like you don't have energy, if you're feeling drained, it's probably because you are backing up. Your energy, is, your energy field is carrying too much and it needs to be shifted. It needs to be transmuted. And as today I was thinking about how I wanted to do this video, how I wanted to connect with you, and I've been really trying to tap into what have I learned the last seven years that I've been working with empaths. I've been working with empaths both one-on-one -on -one and in group trainings, and I'm really trying to distill that down because there's so much that I feel like has sort of blown my mind as I've watched the patterns of what we do and how when we shift, how things shift and what happens and how quickly it can happen, especially for empaths, when we just get it, when, when things finally, we just remember who we are and things make sense to us. And so in this video, I wanted to help trigger your memory of what you are and how you function by giving you these eight tips, or I guess it's just eight things that I, I think everyone should know, every empath needs to know about themselves. So, <clears throat> one, you transmute energy. Emotional energy gets trapped when it's not expressed. Emotions are very strong vibrations. They're the fuel for our planet, so to speak, for our reality, our storylines that we're telling. And they're here to always tell us where we're at vibrationally so that we, by feeling and perceiving how that vibration feels, we know are we, are we close to our hearts, to where we want to be, to heaven, or are we far away? That's, that's all that an emotion is. It's just an indicator. There are no emotions that are wrong or bad, but based on survival and being in survival mode, humans have had to disconnect from their hearts. They've numbed their hearts out. So much of the trauma remain trapped. It wasn't felt. It wasn't processed and witnessed and therefore released. And so there's a lot of trapped energy. You could say trapped psychic energy. Think of if someone died in an extreme amount of fear and trauma. That is an imprint. It's an actual vibrational imprint that can that is imbued with thought and belief in that moment. And if it's strong enough, that charge can remain until it's released. And so <clears throat> as an empath, you are sensitive to energy. So in any given moment, you can be picking up any sort of charge and who knows what it is. It could be trapped emotional psychic energy. It could be the past trapped trauma from the past. It could be in your own DNA. It could be the people around you. It doesn't really matter, but what you need to understand is that you transmute trapped energy by feeling it. And if you resist the fact that you feel, if you resist your, the emotions that are coming through or the, the feeling, the vibrations that are coming through, then you, you by resisting it, you, it builds up, it backs up, and it can start to feel like there's this huge amount of resistance against you. And I think that's why you can start feeling exhausted. Our energy field can get drained, and our adrenals, a lot of empaths struggle with adrenal issues. We can get extremely tired. So it's important that we remember that part of our gift is being able to emote and to express and to feel and witness and do it without judgment. Kind of like, imagine you're a multidimensional actress and you're acting out the whole human story anywhere you go in any simulation you're in you're given you are giving given a vibe a series of vibrations and your job is to simply feel it and release it act it out it will act it out for yourself in the sense of give your like feel it be authentic about what that feels like witness it allow it without judgment and release it this is how we shift the energy on the planet. This is how we help transmute that energy and therefore release the trapped energy and all of that resistance and therefore soothe the emotional body of the planet. And we're doing this at a micro level and a macro level. At the micro level is you. It's your relationship with your creation. It's your relationship with this experience. And it is important that you feel good. Now in the past, when we've been in survival mode, we feel good by making other people feel good. And that can get addicting because 
it can become codependent. We need them in order to feel good and we need to make them feel good. So we have to figure out what makes them feel good. And pretty soon we can be so detached from our hearts that the insp there's, we're not connected to our own inspiration and pretty soon we're, we don't have any more fuel. Because in order to be alive and be inspired and to keep creating, we have to have fuel. And that fuel is like a genuine interest, a genuine love. So when we're first in those codependent type of relationships with our reality, it can feel good because it's hitting the need of like, oh, look, they see I'm valuable. What I do is valuable. It's it's loved right here. But when we allow that, like need them to actually feed us, give us that validation, tell us what to feel. If, if we need them to do it, we, we don't know how to survive on our own. We can't survive in our own emotional field. And so it's, I feel like I got my brain like disassociated for a second, but anyway, I think it's absolutely crucial that we remember that we transmute energy and it's important to be very present to that transmutation, to the experience of it and simply allow it. This is how we love our humanity and love is the currency right now. Love is the currency on the planet. It is what is being asked for. Humanity will not survive without love. That is how we are programmed. If a baby is not loved and nurtured by its mother, it will not survive. So it's really important that we love and nurture our humanity right now. It is what's being asked for at the highest levels. The collective is asking for restoration. The human heart is calling itself back to itself. It's wanting to be whole. And empaths are a part of that shift happening on the planet because as you feel and transmute energy, you're releasing, you're releasing the trapped emotions and therefore the heart's getting turned back on. It's getting unnumbed, if that makes sense. So it's important that you understand that you transmute energy. The second thing is it's important that you understand that this is valuable. Think of business, how our matrix runs. Businesses stay in business because they meet some sort of need out there. But if that ceases to be a need, that business would go out of business. And automatically the way the universe works is it's self-organizing and the way the evolution works is that the species will always meet its need even if it takes a long period of time it'll always meet its need to keep living and surviving and creating so <clears throat> it's important that we allow ourselves to oh, i'm getting distracted again it's important to allow it's important to remember that this is valuable this is actually a valuable thing that you do by transmuting transmuting energy because as you feel the energy you help restore the heart of humanity and that's what's being asked for it's both being prayed for it's but it's what's being asked for at the highest dimensions it's what's being asked for vibrationally in every single transaction and interaction that's going on people want to feel better but just simply numbing out to how they feel is not working because in order to feel better, we have to have our whole hearts. And in order to have our whole hearts, they have to be restored and we have to feel. So people's hearts are getting turned back on and therefore we're having to feel the trauma, feel that dense vibration of what it feels like to be separated from your heart. You can live in hell most of your life and if you tune out your heart and your emotion to it, you're like a robot, you're like a machine, you're just a drone. So you can function and live and survive in hell. And it makes sense that that's what we would do in order to survive hell. But pretty soon your heart starts getting turned back on and you feel the density You f and your whole emotional energetic sensitivities know, okay, that I'm trapped. Like I'm trapped in this energy. And so as you feel keep feeling, you release that energy because the trapped feeling is simply coming from having a bunch of emotional energy or vibrational energy backed up that you've been numbing out that all of all along was a messenger to you because emotions are, are messengers as I was saying earlier. There are indicators. This is where you are vibrationally and you feel out where you wanna be. Remember that we are incredibly complex technology humans are. We are not just one big brain and we're not just one big heart and we're not just a body. We are all three of those things. That is our trinity. We are body, we're mind, and we're heart. We are a self, others, and the planet. That 
Trinity makes up everything that we are. And it's important that we remember that as we transmute energy, as empaths, we need to get really good at listening to the conversation that's going on within our Trinity, within between our body, our minds, and our hearts. Because as we harmonize that and learn how to trust that relationship, have intimacy with, the, with what we are, we can start to trust our creation and trust the fact that we are feelers, that we have a heart, and trust that the heart is good. And the only way that we'll know the heart is good is if we get in tune with it and, and allow ourselves to be nurtured and loved. And so you transmute energy. It's a valuable thing and it's being asked for. So therefore you need to value yourself and the highest leverage point that you can play right now is to invest in your empathic abilities. Invest in understanding them, invest in understanding what you do. It's not only just for you because you should make money. You, what, you off, you, what you are is literally one of the think, top things being asked for on the planet right now. We just have to understand why it's valuable, how it's valuable, and be able to tap into it specifically so that we can then offer it and the planet can feel it. But the reason why we're not feeling it so strongly is because we've been, we've been wounded and therefore we have resisted what we are and we've kind of trapped ourselves in our emotional bodies. And so our, our energy has just been getting drained and we haven't known how to replenish it because you only can replenish it by tapping into your heart. Like I said earlier, I think I said it, but our, we have to have genuine interest in being here or we lose our fuel, we lose our passion. So we have to stay inspired. And in order to stay inspired, you have to stay connected to the heart. So you as an empath need to understand that right now, the best thing that you can do for yourself is love yourself without any judgment. Because that, like I said, there are no emotions that are wrong. Don't resist anything that you feel, feel it fully go fully into it because it's only by going fully into it that we can then release it and transmute it so loving your humanity investing in yourself is the best thing that you can do the second thing or the third thing wherever i'm at is to trust your resonance remember you are an electromagnetic field you are emitting energy and you are magnetizing energy to you and you, you do that based on what your thoughts are. So whatever you believe about the thing and whatever, then your emotions fuel that. So what you believe about this series of vibrations around you, you're really creating the story, but what you believe is gonna affect you. So if you believe at a core level that you're not enough, that you're not worthy, that there's not enough, you are gonna be in a living hell because what, what you will experience is you can feel everything and you can do nothing about it because you can't meet your needs. So you just feel trauma all around you and you feel powerless to do anything about it. That is one of the lowest vibrational states to be in. It is traumatizing for the body. And so that brings me to my fifth thing that I feel like is important for every empath to know. And that is <clears throat> that we are at a, in a subtle PTSD. And the, the very nature of PTSD means we're not necessarily thinking clearly because we're in fear. So we're not seeing things clearly. And that is why the best thing that any of us can do is take a deep breath calm down and calm our central nervous system down. Remind our physical bodies we are safe, right? Right in this moment, I'm safe, I'm safe. And no matter what's going on, I can always take a deep breath. No matter what is going on, I can take a deep breath. I can calm my electromagnetic field, which calms your resonance, which calms the frequency around you, which calms what you're, attract, what you're attracting to you or magnetizing to you. So it's all connected. All right, I lost track of numbers here because I added something in, so I'm just gonna keep going. Um, I'm gonna say it's number six. Number six is understand your algorithm. It doesn't have to make, it doesn't have to make logical sense to you, but it needs to make emotional sense. You, it needs to make resonential sense. It needs to make sense in your resonance. Resonance doesn't lie. Think of an animal in instinct. They're reading what, they're, they can read that fight or flight energy when the energy is really high or when it's calm and all as well. You don't need a story and a background to it. You just need to trust that instinct. And so your unique algorithm for abundance, your like unique signature is going to be that specific, whatever vibrational equation makes you feel safe and that you can trust 
and that you can be centered in your heart because love is the currency, creation, it, you, creation is the currency. The only way the matrix will continue is if we continue to create. So it's important that we understand what our unique algorithm is. So if you guys wanna go a little deeper into understanding how to, act, like how to actually get in touch with your personal algorithm for your electromagnetic field, which is your web, so you can be a match to what you want to be a match. If you want to learn more about that, click on the description, um, click on the link in the description box below for a free masterclass on how it all works. And I have a really cool tip for you guys in there. And in fact, I might release the tip. I think I'll record a separate video for the tip for just the public, whether you take the class or not, because um, it's really important to that we invest.